Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean with Miracle Minutes. You know, um, I get a very good question from people, uh, from individuals, uh, every once in a while, and they say, Pastor Dean, you prayed for me, and you've told me, you've preached that God loves me very much. He's he's, uh, uh, infatuated with me. But unfortunately, I'm still sick. Pastor Dean, I uh, I prayed to the Lord for prosperity, and I'm poor as a church mouse. What's going on? What is wrong? My uh, Pastor Dean, my mother died uh, an agonizing death from cancer. You prayed for her. She did not live. I thought God was all merciful. Well, those are hard questions to answer. But I've got to break the answer down this way. If When we don't get a miracle, when I don't get a miracle, <clears throat> excuse me, when I don't get a miracle, I start searching my soul, I start searching my Spirit, I search my conscious mind and my subconscious mind. Because, you see, if I am not getting a miracle, then I am not getting what God has promised me through Jesus. So it's either God is a liar or I'm missing the boat somewhere. It's got to be either or. So I say to you, my friend, that God is not a liar. I say that somehow, some way, me, Pastor Dean, when I need a miracle and it's not coming my way, I subscribe to the thought that something in my spiritual life is lacking. It's not God's fault. Now, I have studied miracles since the first day of my ministry because, you see, I've been the subject of many, many miracles. I've laid hands on people who were terminally ill. I've laid hands on people in the emergency rooms. I've laid hands on people and prayed for them in the uh, intensive care units, and we've had miracles happen. So, why why do these miracles happen and why do they not happen to, to some other, other people? Let me summarize it this way then. I found that I had to learn the difference between the love of God and the blessings of God. You see, God's love is unconditional. There's no doubt about it. It's because of of, of who I am. He loves me. He's infatuated with me. But he blesses me because of what I do. Now, had a lady come up to me and said she had a disease that the medical doctors could not handle. I said to her, you need a miracle, right? I laid my hands on her. She uh, received the prayer. She went home and uh, she called me up a couple of days later. She said, Pastor Dean, I'm not healed. And she said, what happened? Well, I gave her this advice. I said, you know what? You're going to have to start to take inventory of yourself. Uh, There is something that you are doing or something that you have not obeyed. uh, and, And just sit down and think about it. What has God told you to do that you have not done? Well, it it got around to being that she found she had not forgiven an individual. She searched her conscience. She asked the Holy Spirit to remind her of anything that she has missed from the Lord 
and she found that she had not forgiven an individual for an awful thing that he had done to her. Well, you see, <laughs> one of the big things in Christianity is that you've got to forgive. It's a command. So if that is a command, and if God's telling you to forgive somebody, and you've got cancer, and the cancer is growing, I am telling you right now that you're not going to be healed until you do what God has told you to do. You've got to be willing, and you've got to be obedient to the Word of God. And if you are not, nothing's going to work. It says in Isaiah 119, Isaiah 119, if you are willing and you are obedient, you will eat the best from the land. That's a promise from God. I know that to be true, and I'm going to continue talking about this in our next program of Miracle Minutes. This is Pastor Dean. I love you. See you tomorrow. God bless you.